continues to be a nice day and we're going to continue the uh, great weather really all the way into the weekend 81 on Saturday 77 on Sunday the winds will be up a little bit Saturday but nothing too extreme Las Cruces for you guys nearly 80 on Saturday and Sunday you'll be at 74 degrees all right so here's a look at our latest future track computer model no issues tonight we'll have mainly clear skies a few high clouds will start to drift in here by uh, late tonight and into uh, tomorrow Notice the model here by just before lunchtime wants to bring about a few sprinkles. I just don't think a whole lot of that is going to happen again. So, you know, we can't rule out a sprinkle uh, here and there, but it's not going to be much. It'll continue to make off towards the east of us. And then by Friday morning, get a lot of sunshine, good bit of sunshine throughout the day on Friday. So we're going to continue to have some very nice weather over the next uh, several days or so. Now the wind department winds tomorrow at about 25, 15 on Friday, Saturday at about 30, 25 on Sunday. So nothing extreme. Now, as we look ahead to the mid portions of next week, next Wednesday and Thursday, the winds are going to start to pick up, although right now it looks like kind of on more of the moderate range of the windy category. Here's your temperatures overnight. We're going to be mild with those temps hanging out at right around 50 degrees to start off the morning. High temps for tomorrow. Look at that temperatures in the 70s. We'll have partly cloudy skies expected throughout the day. You folks in Donietta County, overnight lows dropping down into the 40s and your high temps for tomorrow will be in the mid 70s. Here's your forecast overnight tonight. Temperatures down to 50 degrees. We'll have partly cloudy skies with those high clouds tomorrow. Partly cloudy throughout the day. High of 75 degrees. You guys in Las Cruces overnight lows down to 42. Your high temp tomorrow will make it up to 72 degrees over so the next several days. We're going to be looking at actually temperatures right around 80, not 90 Friday, 80 degrees, 81 expected on Saturday. There's Sunday, 72, 75 on Monday. Once we head into Tuesday and Wednesday, 73 Tuesday and 78 expected for our Wednesday. But like I mentioned, mid portions of next week, Wednesday and Thursday, that's when the winds will get a little bit stronger, Mark. Doppler, I wouldn't mind 90 degrees in March, you know. <laughs> I saw I'm like, no, it's 80 degrees. <clears throat> OK, thank you. <laughs> Well, we want to give a shout out now to Melanie Ponce, our ABC7 Facebook Fan of the Day. Melanie, thank you for liking our page. If you'd like to be our Fan of the Day, just like the KVIA ABC7 Facebook page. Well, there is no scheduled reopening date for California's Yosemite National Park. Work is underway inside the park to clear tons of snow and restore critical services. But workers are faced with another storm system that could delay the opening further. And we'll get to that story in just a moment. We'll be right back. Whatever's going on, it's Bick. Tonight at 8 on the El Paso Las Cruces CW. Spectrum presents The Download with Clarissa. Everyone is talking about Spectrum One. Matt, give us a download. Clarissa, people are switching because Spectrum is offering seamless connectivity with Spectrum Internet, advanced Wi-Fi, and unlimited mobile. That's the future of connectivity. That's Spectrum One. Switch to Spectrum One and get 300 megabit internet for $49.99 a month, plus free advanced Wi-Fi and one free line of unlimited mobile. Call 1-833-883-4999. What's unique about Spectrum Internet? Spectrum Internet has the most consistent download speeds and no data caps. How secure is the Wi-Fi? The advanced Wi-Fi comes with enhanced privacy and security features that block online threats. Why is Spectrum Mobile the fastest growing mobile provider? Spectrum Mobile is super reliable and it includes 5G nationwide. Plus unlimited calls, texts, and data. Switch to Spectrum One and get 300 megabit internet for $49.99 a month, plus free advanced Wi-Fi and one free line of unlimited mobile. Call 1-833-883-4999. Call now or visit a Spectrum store today. So if we spend a third of our lives sleeping, shouldn't we try to get the best sleep possible? That's why Denver Mattress is all about that sleep life. And during the four-day super sale, the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend. Check out the Summit Firm for only $299.99 or save up to $100 on our Aspen lineup. Plus, four years no interest, no down payment, and free shipping. Improve your sleep life one night at a time, only at Denver Mattress. The easiest way to get the right mattress. 
The team at Southwest Eye Institute has been serving our community for more than 15 years. You can trust our dedicated team to provide VIP care for all your vision needs. Changes in your eyesight are a natural part of aging, but can also mean blurry vision, difficulty driving at night, and a higher risk of vision loss due to cataracts. Call to schedule your appointment today or visit southwesteye.com to schedule your appointment anytime, day or night. Southwest Eye Institute. Better vision, better life. Next ET, <laughs> our pink exclusive. Back in the world. Talking new music, new tour, and putting daughter Willow to work. I want my kids to see what it looks like to have a mom that's a boss. Plus, we're with the cast of Ted Lasso celebrating their season three premiere. Do you feel any pressure? Nowadays. <laughs> then Shazam stars Zachary Levi on his DC <laughs> return and one marvelous admission. Obviously, that wasn't meant to be. Next ET. Tonight at 6.30 on ABC7. The 95th Academy Awards airing this Sunday right here on ABC7. And this year, there are a lot of firsts. 16 of the 20 actors up for awards are first-time nominees. ABC's Rena Roy has more. Snagging an Oscar nomination is no doubt one of the highest honors in Hollywood. And for 16 out of the 20 acting nominees this year, it's an extra special milestone moment because it's their first Oscar nod. A-lister Jamie Lee Curtis got her first break back in 1978 and now more than four decades later up for her first Academy Award in the Best Supporting Actress category for her role in the hit movie Everything Everywhere All at Once. I was just hoping that you could explain this. I've been an actress since I was 19 years old. And because I've been in the fringes genre films, it's not something I ever thought would happen. Stephanie Hsu nominated alongside Curtis in the same category for the same film, describing the moment she heard the news. And I was like, what's going on? And it was uh, one of my friends. She was the first one who just said, like, holy beep. <laughs> And I think I kind of knew then. Looking for trouble. And who could forget this breakout performance from Austin Butler as the rock and roll king himself in Elvis, earning the up-and-coming star a nomination in the Best Actor category. I'm just so, so happy for everyone and, and really so honored to be here. British actor Bill Nye up against Butler for Best Actor, his first nomination at 73 years old after an impressive five-decade career. That feels very, very good. I could get used to it. In England, a lot of people assume I have an Oscar already. Certainly several cab drivers. I get in a cab and they say, chuffed about the Oscar bill. And I, <laughs> and I don't want to explain that actually I don't have one. But that could change come Sunday, and we could also see newcomer Andrea Riseborough take home a statue. We were supposed to have a good life. Her controversial Best Actress nomination for To Leslie comes after a grassroots campaign online started by her team with a long line of Hollywood A-listers. Some say it could have tipped the scale in her favor. The fact that she sort of dropped from the sky and came out of nowhere certainly got a lot of people talking and led the Academy to have kind of a conversation about it. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York. And ABC 7's complete coverage of Oscars Sunday begins at 3 p.m. with On the Red Carpet, leading up to the 95th Academy Awards at 6 p.m. only on ABC 7. Kidney disease is called a silent killer and millions of Americans don't know they have it. What you can do to protect your kidney health. That's next in Health News. It's time for a great new car from Rudolph Chevrolet. I-10 and Red Road. Big insurance companies are well-funded and do everything possible to minimize your claims. The Strong Arm Team is a proven winner with the resources to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe and fight for you. Call the law firm you can trust and get the justice you deserve. Long Car Lion Jenkins, 800 all sevens. Being a 6'6", undersized forward is tough. Got to be quicker, craftier, and I got to simulate things in my head that I can do on the court against guys with great size and length. Good feet art supports help my game by being able to close out, go get rebounds, and come down and not have to worry about my feet and the wear and the tear of the game and off the court help my feet recover better and relax. They feel like pillows and that's a good thing about the good feet art supports. I'm Jaden Gardner, forward from University of Virginia. Watch out world, I'm coming for you. Honey, what's the name of that air conditioning company we saw the commercial for? We are converting this The year. air conditioning company. Yeah, what's the name of it? You know, the one with the zero interest and low payment plans. The air conditioning company. You know, the guys with the smart club maintenance deal. 
The air Never mind, I got them on the phone. They're called the air conditioning company. It's cold at night. If you act now, you can get a free furnace with the installation of a refrigerated air system. The air conditioning company. You'll love our company. Men, don't let your age keep you from having more energy, building muscle, losing weight, and having an increased sex drive. At Diamond HRT, we specialize in hormone replacement therapy that will give you a longer, healthier, and more fulfilled life. For more information, call or visit DiamondHRT.com. It's true. DQ serves up all the best treats and eats in Texas. We make the best burgers and baskets. You know we make your favorite blizzard treats, but we also make sweet moments even sweeter. We make road trips worth every mile. We make family meals into family memories. We can even make a simple treat feel like a special tradition. Stop by DQ during Lent and try our Alaska Pollock Country Basket. DQ, that's what I like about Texas. Hiring an attorney isn't just for the wealthy. The Strong Arm Team fights for everyone. If you've been injured in an accident, you could be entitled to compensation. And remember, you pay nothing unless we win. Long Car Lion Jenkins. 800 all sevens or longcarlionjenkins.com. Around 37 million adults in the U.S. are estimated to have chronic kidney disease. That's according to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Many of them don't know they have it. In today's Health Minute, Mandy Gaither goes over the symptoms and why treating it early is critical. It's in honor of National Kidney Month. It's known as a silent killer. In the early stages of kidney disease, many don't feel sick. You can lose up to 75% of your kidney function before you begin to manifest symptoms. The CDC says if kidneys don't work well, toxic waste and extra fluid builds up in the body. It can lead to high blood pressure, heart disease, stroke, even early death. Symptoms that can appear in later stages of kidney disease include fatigue, muscle aches, swelling of face, ankles, or hands. If you're diagnosed early, there are strategies available to keep your kidneys functioning as as close to normal as possible, as long as possible. That's why health experts say to know your risks of kidney disease and talk to your doctor about it. If they have diabetes or high blood pressure or a family history of kidney disease or if they have heart disease or if they're over 60, they should talk to their health care provider to see if they've been tested and if not, to be tested. You can also protect your kidney health through a healthy lifestyle. That includes watching your weight, being active, and not smoking. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. And your doctor can use blood or urine tests to find out how well your kidneys are working. Juarez police and Mexican troops were in downtown Juarez earlier today. We'll tell you why they were brought in to help keep a crowd of migrants under control. And a federal agency is investigating two instances of issues with the steering wheel on Tesla's SUVs. We'll tell you what happened that launched the investigation. For more than 20 years, the Window Depot has provided the best price and the biggest inventory on in-stock vinyl windows. And now the Window Depot is more than a window store, offering homeowners and contractors a one-stop warehouse full of interior and exterior doors, granite and quartz countertops, in-stock cabinetry, and flooring and tile to finish your project. Their team of professionals will help with everything from free kitchen design to custom orders from leading manufacturers like Milgard and Jeldwin. Order online or find a location near you at thewindowdepot.com. So with a Planet Fitness Block Card, I'll get a post-workout glow like that guy? Everybody knows that you need to glow, you need to glow, to glow, to grow. And I get a free Amazon Halo to track my fitness and sleep. Cause when you got the glow, that is no stopping what you want to do. Oh. And I can bring a friend. It's the way of life. Okay, sign me up. Sign up for the PF Black Card for $1 down, $24.99 a month, and get a free Amazon Halo View. It's March 15th. It's glow time. Spring into savings all month long at Oscar Leaser's Hyundai of El Paso. You'll save thousands with zero cash out of pocket. Interest rates as low as 0% APR. That's right, 0% APR is back on many new Hyundais. And payments as low as $199 a month. And the best part, we have the best inventory we've had in years with 0% APR and zero down. Elantras and Sonatas, Conas in Tucson, Santa Fe's, and more. All in stock today. Not tomorrow, but right now. The savings are blossoming at Oscar Leaser's Hyundai of El Paso. I'm so excited for people to try our new meatball sandwich. Savory meatballs with melted Swiss cheese and zesty marinara sauce. Mobile order for Valentino? Si. Grazie. 
Enjoy a taste of Italy with our new meatball sandwich at Wienerschnitzel. Start your day off right with what happened overnight, plus live coverage of breaking news and weather and traffic on the 7s. Good morning, El Paso. The team you know, the team you trust. ABC 7's News Ticker, sponsored by University Medical Center. Live, where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the Borderland. This is ABC <laughs> 7 at 4. Welcome back to ABC 7 at 4, everyone. I'm Mark Ross. If you're just joining us this afternoon, let's get you up to date on some of today's top stories. Tense moments this morning as a confrontation broke out between migrants and law enforcement in front of a downtown Juarez hotel. Our photographer was there to capture the aftermath. The National Institute for Migration and Juarez Municipal Police were searching for migrants without permits. The migrants threw rocks at authorities and damaged at least one law enforcement vehicle. Some of the migrants even jumped out of hotel windows to avoid authorities. One person was struck by a car in the Lower Valley early this morning. This happened on the 6900 block of Delta Drive near Escarate Park. First responders receiving the call around 1.30 this morning. The victim was taken to a local hospital with serious injuries. We're waiting for police to provide us with more details. The UTEP men's basketball team playing their first round game today in the Conference USA tournament. Miners taking on the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. That's a team the Miners lost both games to in the regular season. UTEP entering the tournament as ninth seed. The game just about to tip off and we'll have highlights coming up on ABC 7 at 6. A city panel says recently elected District 1 City Representative Brian Kennedy is allowed to vote on issues related to the multi-purpose arena and destination El Paso and its facilities. That decision tied to alleged ethics violations which accused Kennedy of conflict of interest for participating in discussion and voting on the downtown multi-purpose arena because of his consulting work with the El Paso Sports Commission. However, a city ethics advisory panel issued two opinions to the Ethics Review Commission saying they found no such issues. To storm track weather now, Chief Meteorologist Alpadez Fieldman here with your first forecast. A nice day today. Uh, you know, beautiful, uh, really all across the entire region. Now you get into uh, the Texas Panhandle. They're dealing with some colder air. You can see the 50s and even some 40s from Amarillo, Lubbock down to Midland, Odessa. We are nearly at 80 degrees. We have temperatures upper 60s there in Albuquerque and Phoenix at 75 while Tusa at 77 degrees so pretty comfortable out there for the spring training games at least in phoenix you see flagstaff cooler up there at that elevation at 45 but we're going to be talking about temperatures staying pretty warm all the way through the weekend talk about just how warm how hot coming up in a little bit all right thanks doppler let's take another live look at the roads with the abc7 text dot traffic cameras and here we are staying in central el paso this is the camera right next to the mix master or the spaghetti bowl if you prefer the camera at I-10 and Boone facing eastbound. And even though it's a little glitchy, it's showing that there are no problems on the freeway, either eastbound or westbound this afternoon. The Justice Department unveiling a sweeping report today that found the Louisville Police Department engaged in a pattern that violates the First and Fourth Amendment. The two-year investigation finding officers using unreasonable tactics and excessive force and appeared to discriminate against black and vulnerable people in the city. That review was launched after the department's botched raid that killed Breonna Taylor. We'll get to that story in just a moment here on ABC 7 at 4. Meantime, Republican House Speaker Kevin McCarthy says he does not plan on visiting Ukraine after receiving an invitation from Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. In an interview with CNN's Wolf Blitzer yesterday, Zelensky said he would like McCarthy to see the situation on the ground firsthand. The invitation comes as some in the Republican Party debate whether the United States should continue sending aid to Ukraine. For his part, McCarthy said he supports Ukraine, but does not support giving the country a blank check. There is widespread bipartisan support in Congress for Ukraine right now, and Zelensky praised it, saying, quote, we don't care about the side of the support as long as it's powerful and constant. But some House Republicans are calling for an end to further military and financial aid to the country, a sign that it will be more difficult to pass additional Ukraine funding under a GOP-led house. Crews in Orlando have started dismantling the amusement park ride where a 14-year-old boy fell to his death last year. Icon Park says it is pleased deconstruction has started on freefall. 
Tyree Simpson died last March 24th after boarding the 430 foot drop tower. His autopsy confirmed that he weighed more than the recommended maximum rider weight, according to a state investigation. The ride operator manually adjusted Sampson's seat, and he was able to slip out from the harness when the ride dropped. The park hopes deconstruction will be finished before the one-year anniversary of Sampson's death. All attractions and restaurants at the park will remain open during that deconstruction process. Federal safety regulators are investigating Tesla over steering wheels that can reportedly fall off. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration is examining the 2023 Model Y SUV. The probe is a step the agency takes before ordering a recall. It comes after at least two instances, like this one in New Jersey, in which owners said their steering wheels became detached while the vehicle was being driven. The NHTSA said in those two instances, the cars were missing the bolt that attaches the steering wheel to the steering column. The agency's report did not say if there were accidents or injuries as a result of the problem. According to the NHTSA, roughly 120,000 vehicles on U.S. roads could be affected. Well, talk about excessive baggage. A TikTok user says Delta Airlines destroyed her suitcase. But as Jeannie Most explains, instead of sending her just one replacement, they sent her 13. No wonder it's often curtains for luggage dumped, scanned, slapped on conveyors, assaulted by the searching hands of strangers. So when a woman who goes by the TikTok handle at Giselle Rochefort posted, Delta destroyed my suitcase. The best she expected from Delta was that they'd replace her banged up psychedelic suitcase, but instead she says these arrived. 13 suitcases sent by Delta from a store called Ricardo Beverly Hills. I think they made a mistake. One jokester commented, and here's an extra 12 in case we break any more. Actually, Giselle says she found more. I thought I was done, only to realize three of the large bags had small ones inside them. We reached out to Delta for an explanation, but didn't hear back. Meanwhile, Giselle, who we likewise couldn't reach, is getting bombarded with, can I have one? I'd love one. Can I buy one from you? <laughs> That's why American tourist suitcases are reinforced. The ape from that old American tourister commercial would have a field day with all these. For once, instead of excess baggage fees, we're talking excess baggage free. Ruthless porters act. Oh, yes, I remember that commercial all too well. That was Jeannie Most reporting. Still to come, your complete storm track weather forecast. And it's match week for the El Paso Locomotive FC. We'll talk live with one of the players ahead of Saturday's home opener. We've gone through a lot. With so much weight on your shoulders, we can't lose sight of the one thing that carries it all. Your mind. Just as a car needs maintenance. To run smoothly, to be healthy. So does the human mind. This year, ABC7 is embarking on a mission. To inform, educate, and reduce the stigma around mental health. Let's start the conversation. Because we can all live better. Be resilient. Be mindful. A, B, C, 7, the official home of the UTEP Miner. At Stanton Optical, independent eye doctors are available for eye exams whenever you need one. You should have seen me before I got mine. You're so quiet. Are you mad at me? Book your free same-day eye exam at Stanton Optical today. At Tropical Smoothie Cafe, one taste in your mango tango in now. Dropping a beat now, feeling the groove now. Lunching breezy now, going bananas now. Making moves now, craving lighter now. Feeling brighter now, sipping sunshine now. You're on Tropic Time now. The Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Rise and shine on Tropic Time with our new Super Sunrise Sunset Smoothie and Breakfast Flatbreads. Unfortunately, mortgage forbearances are expiring and debt collection lawsuits are on the rise. If you find yourselves in these debt issues, call me to explore your options. Don't wait until it's too late. Stop letting debt 
Get in the way. Call Griffin Law from today. The Window Depot is your only spot for in-stock Milgard vinyl windows. Visit the Window Depot today and take home your new Milgard vinyl windows. Need a special order? We can help. Milgard windows are clearly the best. Now in stock only at the Window Depot. Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. We do the math, people. For $79, you get all this. That costs over $400 at Lens Crafters, over $200 at Walmart, and over $150 at America's Best. When it comes to value, Stanton Optical is the top bird. There is no scheduled reopening date for California's Yosemite National Park. Work is underway inside the park to clear tons of snow and restore critical services, but workers are faced with another storm system that could delay the opening further. Leslie Brinkley reports. Yosemite shut down February 25th because of blizzard after blizzard, and now there's an atmospheric river on the way. There's nowhere for visitors to park right now. When I was up in Yosemite Valley yesterday, I it was crazy. There's nowhere to park. The, the snow levels are so high. We're doing damage assessments. We are digging out fire hydrants and propane tanks. So it's all hands on deck to plow the snow, but crews are also at the same time setting out sandbags because the approaching storm could bring heavy rains to elevations on up to 8,000 feet, and that could trigger a massive snow melt event. The same scenario took place in January 1997. Warm rain accelerated snow melt. The runoff caused the Merced River and creeks to overflow, taking out bridges and roads, destroying half the accommodations in Yosemite National Park and half the campgrounds. 2,100 visitors were stranded. The park was closed for two months. I heard one of my colleagues say, you know you've been here a long time when a 100-year event is happening again. So um, we... We're definitely concerned about that. And looking at, at the modeling, I do believe right now there is more snow that, than we had in 1997. For Yosemite Valley, there's um, not a large reservoir upstream to, to dampen that snowpack, snow melt. I think you should look for road closures. Overall, we'll just have to wait and see. We have plans in place from the 97 flood with best case scenarios and where to set up sandbags and and all the different plans we need to set up throughout the, the entire park. If all goes well, Yosemite could reopen March 13th. If there is flooding, then all bets are off. It could be closed for longer. I'm Leslie Brinkley, ABC 7. And Eric Elkin joins me now with a preview of ABC 7 at 5. Hi, Eric. Hi, Mark, and good afternoon, everyone. Coming up on ABC 7 at 5, ABC 7 is highlighting stories of women in the borderland who are making a difference during this Women's History Month. We'll introduce you to a woman in Las Cruces who is advocating for women of color who are fighting cancer. And the Federal Reserve promises interest rate hikes in the near future. The tension is already boiling over on Capitol Hill. I'll have those stories and more coming up at the top of the hour. Mark. All right. Thanks so much, Eric. Well, El Paso Locomotive FC begins its fifth season with a three-game homestand starting on Saturday at Southwest University Park versus Sacramento Republic. Joining me now is defender Miles Lyons. Miles, thank you for coming in this afternoon. You know, you came in midway through last season. This will be your first full season with the Locos. Talk a little bit about the difference in coaching styles between new coach Brian Clairhout and John Hutchinson. Well, John Hutchinson, who is our coach last year, was very high-paced and um, intense, um, but where, where Brian is also intense, he has a different, different style, um, and I'm following in the footsteps of another locomotive player, um, Diego Luna, um, who I knew and have played with for the past like, couple years in the academy there, but um, Brian is someone who is very, very like, passionate and who loves his players. So, as you said, you and uh, followed in Diego's footsteps. You both came from the Barcelona Residency Academy. Talk about the academy and how that prepared you to join the Locos. Um, it prepared me by um, just giving me a, a sense of playing with, with my feet and with possession and just being very composed on the ball, but also learning how to press with, with intensity and um, just care for your teammates, really. Now, I'm sure you've already done some scouting on Sacramento. Talk about uh, what you're expecting as you face them for the first game in the homestand on Saturday. It's definitely going to be a tough game, but we're, we're looking forward to 
to just seeing how our work in preseason, how, how it's going to end up. And we're really confident in, in all of our abilities and how we work together as a team. All right, now there is a three-game homestand, and let's show you that graphic right now of the three games that are coming up starting Saturday night, 730, Southwest University Park against Sacramento, and that's followed by a game March 15th at 7 p.m., and this will be the game where fans will be able to get the fifth year anniversary, or the fifth year anniversary flag, and let's show that flag off right now. You got to check this out, folks. We want to see plenty of these waving in the stands on the 15th. And uh, then, of course, on the 18th, there's the flag. Then, of course, on the 18th, there's another game that starts at 7 o'clock at Southwest University Park. And my thanks to uh, defender Miles Lyons of the El Paso Locomotive FC for coming in this afternoon. Best of luck in the game on Saturday, Miles. Thank you. Thank you for having me. To storm track weather now, and let's go to Chief Meteorologist Stop with Dave Spielman. Yeah, you know, if we look at rainfall so far this year, it's early. Now we're in our driest point of the year, being March and April, but 0 0.01 this month for the month of March. And you can see year to date, 0 0.65, a little more than a half an inch of rainfall. So we are running pretty close to about a quarter of an inch below the average for this time of year. No issues tonight. If you're going to be heading out tonight, looks great. Notice those temperatures are uh, going to pretty much stay in the 70s, working their way into the upper 60s by 8 o'clock. But no issues tonight. And if you look at the seven-day wind gust tracker, sponsored by Mattress Firm, you can see 25 tomorrow. Breezy category, 15 on Friday, 30 on Saturday, 25 on Sunday. So breezy, low and windy once we head towards the weekend. And then what we're going to be watching is mid-portions of next week. Uh, Wednesday and then Thursday, the winds will start to pick up once again across the area. All right, so here's your temperatures overnight. We're going to be dropping it down into the 40s, some areas right around 50 degrees, and just going to be dealing with some high-level clouds out there. High temps tomorrow. We'll work our way into the mid and upper 70s throughout El Paso County, Donietta County. Overnight lows for you folks in the 40s, and your high temperatures for tomorrow will climb into the mid and even some upper 70s. All right, so jump ahead, March 14th through the 18th. We are still leaning above with those temperatures, leaning below the farther west you go. And if you're going to be heading out to Phoenix for spring training, well, you can see opportunities for rainfall running above average as you head out to Arizona, California, and Nevada as well. We are just going to be leaning above. We're kind of on that eastern fringe of a little bit uh, drier air, but certainly we may see a little spike upwards in our rain chances. So overnight tonight, we'll drop it down to 50 degrees. Tomorrow, we're looking at a pretty nice looking day. Some occasional breezes, 75 will be the high temp. You guys in Las Cruces, the overnight low temperatures down to 42. Your high temp for tomorrow will make it up to 72 degrees. And watch over the next several days. So we go 75, 80 on Friday, 81 on Saturday. Again, the wind's up a little bit Saturday into Sunday. Don't forget about the time change, spring forward, daylight saving time, and then we got Oscar Sunday coming in here on your Sunday, and then we're talking about the winds by next Wednesday and Thursday, Mark. All right, Doppler, thank you. Time for our